Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Sunday, October 27th, 2024. I am Drew Martin. This is week eight NFL Sunday. We're breaking it down. Three games coming your way. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. We get the Tennessee Titans and the Detroit Lions from Ford Field in the Motor City. It is Detroit, minus 11 in the hook as the home favorite, 45 being the total. Detroit comes in winning and covering four straight games. I'll tell you, this Lions team is a team I am looking to bet on right now. They covered those four games by a combined 42 points against the spread. So more than 10 points per game. More than the closing line, more than the, what the market is saying, the odds makers are saying. So they are being underpriced to this point. Dan Campbell, 21 and nine at home. He's got him playing in front of the home crowd. And Jared Goff, man, here's a stat. He's only the fourth quarterback in NFL history with a quarterback rating 140 or higher in four straight games. He's carrying that trend into this game on Sunday. And they're up against the Tennessee Titans team, guys. One in five straight up and against the spread. They're winless in all of their games, not playing a Tua-less Miami Dolphins team. And I believe that was the first week Tua was out. So this team is just straight fade city. This is bet on versus, versus fade. Tennessee blown out 34 to 10 last week against Buffalo. And that was a Monday night game. So they're short week with travel here. Back-to-back -back road games as well. I don't like the schedule spot. Overall, guys, it's likely not going to make the client card because I don't like laying double digits in the NFL, but minus 11 and a hook. First pick up here on Sunday. It's the Lions over the Titans. Next one up, 1 p.m. Eastern. We are heading to South Florida here. Miami Dolphins, Arizona Cardinals. Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Gardens. Looks to be 80 degrees, partly cloudy, mostly sun in the skies there in South Florida. 45 and a hook being the total, 46 at some shops. Minus four and a half. That's the Miami Dolphins as the home favorite. Dolphins two and four, one and five against the spread. Hey, but they're laying four and a half here. You know what that tells you. Right before I'm doing the show going into the weekend, Adam Schefter just tweeted, to a clear concussion protocol and will start on Sunday. Despite any debate, Tua will be behind center. Uh, so that is a big change in terms of the betting markets here and the Dolphins going off as the four and a hook home favorite. I think it's something to pay attention to, not only in the side market, but in the totals market, guys. So there's 45 and a half still out there. Um, by the time this show gets out, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 46 across the board. I'd like it to the over. A couple more reasons, Tyreek Hill and Waddle likely to play on Sunday. And the Miami Dolphins' best defensive tackle was poked in the eye. On, in Thursday's practice, he's likely not to play. That's, what, 18 tackles out in the defensive line for the Miami Dolphins. And they're up against the Arizona Cardinals here. Yeah, Kyler Murray behind center. He's going to be making some plays. But it's also the number five rushing offense in the NFL, part, partly due to Murray. But um, so when you're missing one of your best defensive tackles there, that that's not a good situation you, you want going up against the top five run team. And Miami – has really not faced any good quarterbacks. You look at their schedule, guys. I mean, since Josh Allen in week two, it's all bottom half of the NFL. Now they're going up against Kyler Murray. And I, I, so I, I, I'm, what I'm getting at is the Dolphins' defense, I think, is a little bit overvalued. They're 45 and a half, you know, mid-40s. I think we get up and up and over. I, I, I like it into the 50s here, guys. Cardinals and Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium, over 45 and a half. We got one game left. We're doing two early kicks. One afternoon game. Reminder, if you could comment below, anything is welcome. Um, no, no, we had some losses there in the uh, in the week. But, um, hey, we're looking to bounce back overall. You know, a, a solid performance here the last month, giving it all out for free right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. If you're interested in uh, premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. Got the 5% max limit going on Sunday in the NFL, only our second NFL five percenter of the month of october so you don't want to miss that um 70 run so uh hopefully cash that and if you're interested in premium picks check them out we got the eight dollars special as well that's eight dollars a day and you get every sport every play all right last game up guys we are heading a mile high here denver colorado for the denver broncos carolina panthers 425 eastern 125 pacific kick here 
40 and a half, 41 being the total. Denver, another double digit favorite here, minus 11 at home. The Broncos come in four and three on the season, five and two against the spread. Three straight overs, by the way. And Carolina coming in one and six straight up and ATS. So they've been burning some money here. And part of the reason is their defense. I mean, they're not playing good defense. They're not playing good offense. But defensively, I mean, this is one of the worst I can remember. Number 32 ranked defense in the NFL. That's dead last by multiple metrics. They're allowing 70% completion percentage for for opposing quarterbacks. I haven't seen that, at least this, this deep in the season. And you just look at their point totals given up, 40, 38, 36, 34. They gave up 47 earlier. Man, this team can't stop anybody. This isn't college football. This is the NFL. And sure enough, they're 5-2 and to the over with all of their offensive issues. But there's a situation here that I don't think a lot of people pay attention to. It does look like uh, Bryce Young coming back to uh, take snaps here. You know, the, the number one pick. Uh, in the NFL draft, coming back after being sat down and watching somebody else do his job. A lot of times when that happens with a young quarterback, when they come back, they do play a little bit better. Now, I, I don't think Bryce Young is going to carry this team to any, you know, much success this year. But using that in our back pocket, I wouldn't be surprised if they do move the ball a little bit here. I know Denver's defense is pretty good, but it, this total at 40 and a half. We know Denver is going to get theirs. We just talked about Carolina's defense, but uh, Denver's Denver's offense has woken up a little bit. I know people point towards the rookie quarterback and Bo Nix. Three straight overs by a combined 25 points more than the closing total. So uh, they've been a little bit uh, underrated in terms of cashing overs. And there is an NFL trend that I think is worth paying attention to. Nine and one to the over the last 10 times for all home favorites in the NFL off of a Thursday road win, meaning they went on the road and they won, which Denver did, if you remember, last Thursday over the Saints in dominating fashion. Then they get the extra preparation time to come home for their next game against uh, at least what the betting markets are are predicting as the inferior opponent. And I think that extra preparation time, um, you know, the offenses will look to run it up a little more, bit, bit a little bit more. I think there's something to this nine and one overrun in this situation. And then mainly because of uh, all the points we just, you know, went over in terms of Denver scoring more and Carolina's defense, just being near at the bottom of the NFL. So we're going over 40 and a half Carolina and Denver. We got the Arizona Miami over 45 and a half. And then we got the lions minus 11 and a hook here. I know it's laying the wood in the NFL guys. Don't do it much. There's a reason why fade the Tennessee Titans. That's going to do it for the Sunday show, guys. The three-pack of NFL Sunday Week 8. Hopefully we go 2-1, and one, if not 3-0. No. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking to bet on today's slate. Smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back for College Football Opening Line Report on Monday. Come back and join us. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Cash those tickets.